OK, so I have more. We've talked a lot about math. Um, I am, I might point out, as Bev pointed out, I actually started in math. I love math. I particularly love applied math. We continue to make math a critical filter. And we know better. Do you know for how many years we've known how bad placement tests are? We, we pay money to make students take tests that we don't trust, that we often don't use, and that usually we supplement, math instructors usually supplement with their own test. The Community College Resource Center, who's done a lot of research on this, actually finds if you're going to use one thing for uh, math remediation, use high school GPA. It's a better predictor. If you use some kind of predictor test plus GPA, Using, again, you know, we're talking databases of 50 and 60,000 students. We're not talking about, you know, I, I did this with 10 students yesterday. Um, you can decrease the number of kids in math retention courses by 10 to 15 percent, keeping the same success rates, just by using either GPA or GPA and some kind of placement test. You know what that means in terms of cost. You know what that means in terms of the number of students who are retained. We know among our poorer students, and I mean lower income, I mean less experienced students, the longer they stay in remediation, the less apt they are to stay. One, they can't afford it. So one of the strategies that grew out of the bridge programs, but people do it without the bridge programs, Morgan State was in the beginning of this, um, is if students haven't taken a lot of math courses and aren't really you know, math whizzies, and even some that are, force them to take a review online something before they take the placement test. Now, if the placement test were a really good indicator of your mathematical skills and abilities, this shouldn't do a darn thing. Since it's not a good indicator of your mathematics skills and abilities, it's really effective. So if you're going to use the darn placement test, have the students go for a math review first. And one of the things so many schools know is math remediation courses teaching the same things in the same ways that the people didn't get in the first place. Guess what? They don't work. If you make them more individualized, if you make them more flexible, I mean, heck, the kids aren't getting credit for it anyway. So it's not like you've got all these requirements you've got to fulfill. If you make it so it's more individualized, if you make it so that kids can focus on those areas of weaknesses and not have to sit through the things they already know, not only do, are they less apt to drop out, but they're more apt to move on and be successful in their math courses, which is, is what we need. Now, just to depress you, I was involved with one program that did that, and their results were so dramatic, the positive, that when the person who was spearheading it left for a semester, they sabotaged it, and it's now, back to the, it's now back to the original way, yes. <laughs> so just because it works doesn't mean people are going to accept 